and IQ tests are stable within an individual. There are some longitudinal studies where uh, children were measured at age 11, and again, when they were 70 years old, and the two IQ scores are highly correlated with each other. This comes from a fascinating study from uh, Scotland. Uh, In the 1930s, some researchers decided to get an IQ test on every single child age 11 in the whole country, and they did. And those records were discovered in an old storeroom at the University of Edinburgh by a friend of mine, Ian Deary, who found the records, digitized them, and has done a lot of research on the people who are still alive today from that original study, including brain imaging research, by the way. Really, it's a fascinating group of, of people who are, who are, are studied. Um, and not to get ahead of the story, but one of the most interesting things they found is a very strong relationship between IQ measured at age 11 and mortality. <laughs> so that, you know, uh, in, in the 70 years later, <laughs> they looked at the survival rates and they could get death records from everybody. And Scotland has universal health care for everybody. And it turned out if you divide the people by their age 11 IQ score into quartiles and then look at how many people are alive 70 years later, the, I know this is in the book, I have the graph in the book, but there are essentially twice as many people alive in the highest IQ quartile than in the lowest IQ quartile 